We actually got a question from the audience here. Steven's asking, any programs for entertainment and or sports law? Oh gosh, if I left, if I left that off, I, am, I did a bad thing. Uh, that's one of the seven specializations. We have the Ziprin Center for Entertainment, Media, Technology, and Sports Law. We could do a whole session on that. Actually, a week from Thursday, that program is sponsoring a really interesting panel. They're bringing back I don't know, maybe six or seven 2018 grads. It's called One Year Out, and they're talking about what they've been doing in entertainment and sports law for the past year. So anybody interested in that can follow up with me. If you're in LA, by all means, let me know. We'll get you into that. But we'll, I'm hoping it'll be recorded, and that might be of interest to people. Um, but I could go on about that. There's so many courses in entertainment law. I was talking about clinics. One of our more interesting clinics is the sports law simulation. We can't really have students engaged in mock contract negotiations for Dodgers or, or Laker players, but we simulate it. And uh, we have a lot of grads who are working in that field that come in and work with the students and teach them what it would be like uh, to do that, to practice that kind of law. Uh, we also have an entertainment law student edited journal and a very active student organization in entertainment law and sports law and an annual conference where we bring in uh, really pretty much everybody who's practicing in the field of entertainment law comes to UCLA to kind of uh, uh, to reconnect and to meet and to become educated on some of the latest uh, happenings in the field. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.